there, my purple banditos? Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated Team Galactic and Commander Mars in Lake Verity, also saving Professor Rowan and Dawn. In today's episode, we're going to make our way back to another place because there's been some minor changes on our teams and there's still going to be a couple going on. So let's go ahead and fly back to Cantaleaf City and where we'll, I'll explain some more of the details of stuff that's been happening. Okay, so as you can see, Jerry's back out and there's also depositing uh, Nami in the bank. Okay, if that makes sense. Jerry's gone up to level 40, hasn't learned any moves. Speedy's gone up to level 40 and has actually learned to move. As you can see, Speedy learned Synthesis, which will make it heal a little bit, which is pretty good. Fuller's up to level 35, Sparksy's up to level 40, Linz is up to level 35, and Linz actually learned to move. Linz learned Dragon Claw, which is power 80, accuracy 100. Nami's in the bank, Nami went up to level 40, and at level 36 learned Aurora Sphere. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's about all the level ups. We're going to make our way back to Iron Island really quick because I need to pick up another Pokemon. Uh, something I didn't realize is that I currently don't have any Pokemon that can learn strength so that's going to be kind of a disadvantage because I know that you're going to need strength to move on because as soon as it gives you an HM you have to use it to get to the next place. So there you go. Simple as that. We're just going to go to Iron Island. I'm going to look for a rock type really quick and from there we're going to head back into uh, you know, Canelave City. Not Canelave City but we'll head back to the uh, Celeste City and go from there so I'm gonna go ahead and enter this cave once again and once I find the Pokemon I've been looking for I'll be right back with you guys So there we go, that must be the rarest freaking Pokemon in the game, because it took me like 20 minutes to get this thing to pop up. I'm going to send out Linz, yeah, I actually switched it up with Linz, because it, I don't know, it didn't seem as effective when I used Jerry when I was trying to kill some of these Pokemon. So yeah, it's going to be an Onix, I just thought I'd go for an Onix, because you know what, they know what's up, they know how to use Strength and Rock Smash, and it'll just be easier, it'll just be a little easier encounter. Now one of the bad things about this is that I actually don't have that many Pokeballs, I only have like one Ultra Ball left because I've been attempting this for quite a while now. Um, it used Dragon Breath on me, that's super effective, really? Oh yeah, Dragon's effective on Dragon, nice, good move there. That's actually a really good move that Onyx has, wow, that's fantastic, I can't believe it has that move. I'm just going to keep using Slash weakening it down a little bit and then once it gets into the red zone that's when I'm gonna throw out the pokeball and hopefully catch this thing you use sandstorm I don't think that affects me though because I'm a ground type it's it's there to the red zone I think I'm gonna start throwing out the pokeballs hopefully I can catch it you know it's a good level so uh, it shouldn't be too hard I'm gonna just open up with pokeballs and hope I can get it and if not I'm gonna move on to dusk balls and the one ultra ball will be saved for last because I'm hoping I get this thing right here please oh jeez, are you crapping me Oh my gosh, dude, that was like 0.1 milliseconds away from me catching it. Okay, it used rocks, rock polish. That's going to raise its speed. Woohoo, whoop did he do And I'm just going to keep tanking hits. I'm going to go ahead and throw out another Pokeball. And hopefully, everyone fingers crossed and hope I can get it this time so we can proceed on to the next town. Please, I need you. I need you to stay in that Pokeball, please. Why, you stupid Onyx. Stay in that Pokeball. It's using Dragon Breath on me. It's probably going to KO my lens. No joke. Yeah, it's going to KO my lens. Oh, no. Wow. It didn't. That's that's nice. I'm going to keep using these Pokeballs. We're going to catch this thing. We are going to catch this thing today, right now, within like two minutes, and then we're going to proceed on to the next place. So this thing should be popped out. This is the most annoying Onyx I've met. Very annoying Onyx. You think Brock would have been like, hey, Onyx, just get in the Pokeball and just be quiet. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep throwing them. And if not, the Dusk Ball should do the job. If not, the one Ultra Ball. I bet once I throw the Ultra Ball, it catches it. It's in the red zone, dude. Just stay in there, you freaking Onyx, dude. What is wrong with this Onyx? I'm going to go ahead and use the Ultra Ball. We better catch it with the Ultra Ball. I should have bought more, but since I was like, oh, I didn't know we were going to need to catch Pokemon, I kind of like completely forgot about the Ultra Ball and then just kind of completely forgot about binding anything. But there we go. We got the Onyx. Fantastic. I actually do have a nickname planned for this Onyx already. I kind of came up with it while I was running around looking for it. I thought, hey, it's a, it's a ground type, so what would be a cool name for it? Um, I'm going to go ahead and, yes, give it a nickname, and we're going to name it something that's probably very unexpected and that you guys probably will understand and if you have a good sense of humor, hardy, hard, hard, so I know you understand. I'm going to name it Nessie after the Loch Ness Monster. I don't know why. Just because it's like a snake looking thing. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Kind of cool. So let's go ahead and fly back to Celeste Town now that we have our little dude. All right, I'll actually, I'll actually teach Nessie the moves really quick before we continue on so you guys can actually see me teaching it strength and all that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and teach it strength then. Strength, and then I'll teach it Rock Smash right after. Uh, let's see what moves it has. Oh, I really don't want to get rid of some of its moves because they're pretty decent but uh which moves should be forgotten 
We're gonna forget Rock Polish and then Sandstorm because I'm also gonna teach it Rock Smash. Uh, might as well teach it to it. I mean, why not, right? Because Doof isn't doing the job. Doof's been slacking. Doof, you know, has been been chilling too much with Scrambled in the in the Poke Box. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach it this move too. I think it's gonna be a little helpful. And now we'll have someone that can use Strength. That's a decent level and that has some good moves. So there we go. Nessie learned Sand, forgot Sandstorm and learned Rock Smash, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and fly to Celeste Town now, where I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. Up really quick and then we're gonna proceed on hopefully to the next lake today in today's episode because who knows how long it's going already uh yeah let's just go ahead and fly over here we're gonna heal up we're gonna talk to nurse joy we're gonna get her to put some oil on our pokemon as well as on our nessie <laughs> i'm just kidding um yeah we're gonna restore your tired pokemon i'm gonna use harden on my onyx if you okay whoa 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 okay let's just just heal up the pokemon nurse joy we're not looking for anything else right now we're we're trying to see in someone her name's Don. On. All right, we had to save our last episode. All right, so now that we're finally back here in Celestic Town, we can actually get on our bike and start making our way through here. Yes, it's about time we can proceed on to the next town. Took a little while to get that onyx, but it's not too bad, not too shabby. We are going to have to go through a couple Pokemon battles. Um, well, actually, we might not have to now. Yeah, we might not have to now that I learned Rock Smash. So let's go ahead and smack this rock with Rock Smash. Get it? Smash this rock with Rock Smash. I know, Nintendo, Nintendo is just so smart. And we we have a little battle. Let's go ahead and do it really quick. Great to have you back in the team, Jerry. You're oh, jeez, we bumped into a little dude. Here we go. Why isn't that little ninja boy at home? So anyways, we're going to be entering this cave. It is Mount Coronet, so we're going to be heading in here again. I actually do have some repels, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out Speedy up front so we don't have any trouble, you know, so we don't have any weird random Pokemon coming at us and trying to kill us, like always. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look in the items because I have super repels. I bought like nine. I think I've had them for a while. And uh, what is in here? Oh, look, I found a star piece. Sweet. Neato. It looks like there's a little puzzle going on. Oh, look, a Pokeball. Let's go ahead and pick up this Pokeball see see what's in this thing and we found an escape rope so yeah it's definitely gonna be a little puzzle a little challenge something crazy going on there seems to be what is this uh it's a big boulder but a pokemon may be able to push it would you okay okay so this is what you use strength on i'm just so used to like the old school big like brown boulder looking things that i didn't realize that that's what that was uh let's go ahead and open up this pokeball then and we found an ice heal that's good oh no Oh no, I remember what you guys told me is up next, the Ice Gym! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use Rock Smash here too, and hopefully we're getting our way through the cave. That was it? Was that really all of it? There is no way that was the whole cave. Wow, dude, I made my way out! So here we go, Mount Coronet, and I'm pretty sure we are going in the right direction. So I don't know what's up that way, but um, I, I'm pretty sure we'll be good to go this way once we defeat this guy. That was a little too easy. I really hope I'm heading in the right direction, but you know what? I don't know anymore. I really hope that I am, but I have no idea where I'm headed. I'm just kind of like following along the trail and um, hope... Wait, can I use serve here? No, I can't. I, it won't let me anyway, so I guess that's probably not it. I'm just going to continue on this path because I'm pretty sure it takes you to the left first before continuing on to anything else. Uh, let's read what this sign has to tell us. It says, Eterna City. No, I don't want to head to Eterna City, but where else can I go? Like, where else is this thing going to take me? So we're back at Eterna City. This is... This isn't right. This isn't where I should be going, or is it? I'm going to check the map really quick because something weird is going on. Something, something sketchy is happening here, and I don't know exactly what it is. Um, we made it past it. I guess we... 
we do have to go up the river? Is that what we have to do? I know the path is right there. So I'm just like wondering to myself where exactly it is I have to take it. Um, where exactly do I have to take this path? I'm just going to go ahead and exit from this this battle. Um, I thought I still had the repel on, but I guess I don't. Um, if I would have known this is what we had to do then... I would have made. I wouldn't have made our, our way through that whole cave. Um, I must have took something wrong in the cave. That was it. We're gonna have to go back in the cave. I'm just gonna go ahead and use another repel before we head in there because uh, something went wrong in that cave. I must have took the wrong path. Uh, the cave must be there in order for you to be able to get through the two cities correctly. That's what my guess is. Um, yeah, I probably took the wrong path here. Yeah, there seems to be another boulder up there. There seems to be quite a couple boulders. So there must be more to it. There must be more to this cave than meets the eye. Transformers more than meets the eye. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and push this boulder then. Uh, what if we push this one down? Let's go ahead and push this one all the way down. And maybe this will lead me in the right direction. It isn't. That is just seems to block me off. Something weird. Something really weird is going on here. Um, see, there seems to be another boulder here. But how do I push that? How do I push that boulder? How do I get there? Um, can we run up here or something? All right, I can push this one up. But I don't know how to get up there. I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, get this rock polish TM, which is which is great. There has to be another entrance, is my guess. Um, is there an entrance out here? There must be an entrance out here. Uh, yeah, something must be going on out here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, Nessie use Rock Smash because I can't really see anything else, any other path we can take. Uh, let's see, up here, nothing really. Uh, Repel's effect wore off, and we can't go surfing in this water, so I don't know where else we would go. Uh, I'll be right back with you guys in like a minute. Okay, so I've been exploring this cave, and I actually figured it out. You can go right here in this little slot with this cave. So I'm going to go ahead and use strength here, and uh, hopefully from here it'll lead us to the right path. I knew something confusing wasn't go going on, but I, I wasn't sure. That's what happens when you do blind Let's Plays. You can kind of get lost pretty easily. Uh, let's head down these stairs. Mount Coronet. Oh, no. Why is there fog here? Oh, please don't tell me I have to use Surf, too, because if I have to use Surf, this place is going to be an absolute mess. Uh, I'm going to have to go get Nami, and it's just going to get real messy in here. Ah, uh, the rock appears to be breakable. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Rock Smash. I, I'm pretty sure this is the right direction. I think we're heading the right way. It's a big boulder. I'm just going to keep knocking stuff out of here. We have repels, so uh, we should be completely fine for a while unless we start bumping into, like, crazy stuff. Uh, spears to use Rock Smash. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Rock Smash here, then. And uh, we're going to get this Pokeball. What is this Pokeball. It repels effect. We're off. I'm going to go ahead and use a Super Repel. Uh, I know I have one in here somewhere. Let me go ahead and find it really quick. Not the Dragon Fang. Super Repel. So there we go. I use Super Repel and the Pokeball is here. There seems to be stairs down there. So I guess we have to take the, uh, the first path. Soft Sand. I don't even know what that does. Uh, let's just head back up this path and hopefully this will be the correct one then. Or can we just go straight? Yeah, we can just go straight through here. Psh, why stop there, eh? I mean, there's no point. And th there seems to be two exits to the cave. What is this exit? Let's go ahead and go into this one just to check it out. And uh, there's a Pokeball here. And we got a Never Melt Ice. I think that powers up ice moves, if I if I remember correctly. Which is pretty good. That, that can come in handy. That could come in pretty, pretty handy. And we're on Route 216, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to continue on from here in Route 216 and make our way to the the next town. Until next episode, thank you guys so much for watching and see you then.